what do we mean by double integrals? This is when we have double integration, right? As the words imply, okay? So let me give you guys an example. So you are going to understand this with an example. So let's say we have the integral from 0 to 1. Also, we have the integral from 1 to 2 of s multiply y dy ds. As you can see, guys, we are having double integration. So as you can see, we are having two limits of integration. As you can see, we are having the integral from 0 to 1. Also, we are also having the integral from 1 to 2 of s y dy ds. Whenever you see a question like this, what you want to do is you want to start from the inside, okay? So we are going to start from the inside. We are going to take the integral. So we are going to start from the inside value. So we are going to take the integral of this, okay? So we are going to start with the inside value. So make sure you start with the inside value whenever you see an integral like this. This is going to be the integral from 1 to 2, okay, of s, y, d, y. Okay, guys? So this is going to be the integral we are going to be working on. Now, guys, you need to know that the first integral that is from 0 to 1, this is associated with ds, okay? While the second integral, which is the integral from 1 to 2, this is associated with dy, okay? So this is associated with the y value, okay? So you want to think of it as the first integral is the s value, while the second integral is the y value, okay? So because we are starting from the inside value, that is the integral inside, meaning this is going to be associated with the y value, okay? So meaning we are going to take this integral with respect to y. So whenever we see s, we are going to treat s as a constant, okay? So we are going to treat s as a constant, guys, okay? So this is going to be s, right, which is a constant, then multiply by. Now, if we take the integral of y with respect to dy, what is this going to give us? This is going to give us y raised to the power of 2, then divide 2, okay? Because we know that whenever we are taking integral, we are going to add 1 to the power, then we are going to divide 1 with the new power, okay? So the integral of y is going to give us y raised to the power of 2, divide 2, because 1 plus 1 is 2, right? Then 1 divide the new power, which is 2. So this is how we got y raised to the power of 2, divide 2. So guys, this is for y is equal to 1, okay, to y is equal to 2, okay, because we are taking the integral with respect to y, okay? So this is going to be s, right? So this is going to be s. Now guys, you need to know that s is constant, so we are treating s as constant, okay? So we are now going to plug the upper limit, then minus the lower limit, okay? So whatever we see y, we are going to plug 2. Then whatever we see y, we are also going to plug 1, okay? So for the upper limit, this is going to be 2 square divide 2. 2 square is 4, right? 4 divide 2 is going to give us 2. So we're having 2, okay? So on the upper limit, we're having 2, then minus. Now on the lower limit, it's going to be 1 square divide 2, okay? So it's going to be 1 square, which is 1, Right? So this is 1 over 2. Okay? So this is going to be 2 minus 1 over 2. Okay? So this is going to be 2 minus 1 over 2. Now, guys, if we evaluate 2 minus 1 over 2, this is going to give us 3 over 2. Okay? So it's going to be 3 over 2 multiply s. So this is 3 over 2s. Now, guys, meaning whenever we see the integral of 1, sorry, the integral from 1 to 2, of s, y, dy. We are now going to plug this value, 3 over 2 s, okay? So this is now going to be the integral from 0 to 1, okay? So this is the integral from 0 to 1 of 3 over 2 s, right? This is 3 over 2 s, okay? As you can see, we are replacing this integral with the value we got, which is 3 over 2 s. So this is 3 over 2 s, then ds, okay? So now we are going to take the integral of 3 over 2s with respect to s. As you can see, guys, we are having a constant, which is 3 over 2. So we are going to take this constant outside the integral, okay? So this is going to be 3 over 2, 
So this is 3 over 2, then multiply by the integral from 0 to 1 of s ds. Now guys, what is the integral of s? The integral of s is going to give us s squared over 2, okay? So this is 3 over 2, which is the constant, then s squared over 2, right? So guys, we are going to evaluate this from 0 to 1, okay? So this is from s is equal to 0, right? To s is equal to 1, okay guys? So this is going to be 3 over 2, which is the constant. So guys, we are going to plug the upper limit, then minus the lower limit. So 1 square over 2 is going to give us 1 over 2. Then minus, if you plug the lower limit, which is 0, 0 square over 2 is basically going to give us 0, right? So we are left with this, okay? So this is going to be 3 over 2 multiply 1 over 2 is going to give us 3 over 4. So guys, this is going to be the final answer. So the answer is going to be 3 over 4. So this is the answer to the double integral. Now guys, let's say we reverse the order of integration. Let's say we reverse the order of integration. Now let's say we, we make this as the integral from 1 to 2. As you can see guys, we are reversing this. So this is from 1 to 2, then from 0 to 1. So guys, this is going to be S. So this is going to be S Y. Okay, so this is going to be S Y D S D Y. Now guys, whenever you reverse the integration or whenever you reverse the order of integration, you need to make sure that the Y value, the Y value, they correspond to what they should correspond to. Okay, so you need to make sure that the y value and the s values, they correspond to what they should correspond to. Because we know that the first integral that is from 0 to 1 is associated with the s value, right? While the second integral, which is from 1 to 2, is associated with the y value. So as you can see, guys, we reverse this. So meaning this 1, that is the integral from 1 to 2, this is going to be associated with the y value. Why the integral from 0 to 1, this is going to be associated with the S value, okay? So, now, whenever you reverse the double integral, you're going to find out that you are also going to have the same answer, guys, okay? So, now, I'm going to prove to you that we are going to have the same answer, which is 3 over 4. I'm going to prove it to you guys. So, we are going to try to evaluate this integral as well. So, guys, like I said, we are going to start with the inside integral okay so we are now go we are going to start with so we are going to start with this integral okay so we're going to start with this guys okay then we're going to move to the outside integral so this is going to be the integral from zero to one of s y d s okay guys now guys we are going to evaluate we are going to evaluate this integral with respect to s, okay? So, meaning we are going to treat the y as constant, okay? We are going to treat the y value as constant. So, this y is going to go outside the integral. Then, this is going to be the integral of s with respect to the s. It's going to give us what, guys? This is going to give us s squared over 2, right? So, this is going to give us s squared over 2, right? So the integral of s with respect to the s is going to give us s squared over 2. So this is s squared over 2. So guys, we are evaluating this from s is equal to 0 to s is equal to 1. Okay? So don't forget we are treating the y value as constant. Okay? So this is going to be y. Then multiply by now, guys, we are also going to plug the limit of integration. So, we are going to start from the upper limit, which is 1, then minus the lower limit, which is 0. So, 1 squared divided by 2 is going to give us 1 over 2, right? Then minus 0 squared divided by 2 is basically going to give us 0, okay? So, I left with 1 over 2. So, this is 1 over 2y, okay? So, this is 1 over 2y. Or we can also write this as y over 2, Okay, so this is going to be the inside integral. So now, guys, we are not going to plug 
this value y by 2 inside this integral, okay? So let me write this here. So now we are going to have the integral from 1 to 2, okay? The integral from 1 to 2 of y over 2 dy. Okay, guys? We basically replace this value, that is this integral, we replace this with the answer we got, which is y over 2, okay? So we are going to integrate y over 2 with respect to dy. So guys, as you can see, this is y over 2. We can basically take 1 over 2 outside the integral, okay? So this is going to be 1 over 2, okay? So then multiply by the integral from 1 to 2 of y dy. So guys, the integral of the integral of y is going to give us y squared over 2, right? So this is 1 over 2, then multiply y squared over 2, okay? We know that we are going to integrate this from y is equal to 1 to y is equal to 2. So guys, this is y squared over 4, okay? So we are integrating this from 1 to 2, okay? Now guys... If we plug the upper limit, this is going to be 2 square, right? So this is going to be 2 square, which is going to give us 4, right? So this is going to be 2 square, which is going to give us 4. Then 4 divided 4 is going to give us 1. So we have 1. Then minus the lower limit. So this is going to be 1 square over 4. So this is going to be 1 over 4, right? This is basically going to give us 3 over 4, okay? So this is going to give us 3 over 4 we now have the same answer. We have the same answer, right? The first integral gave us 3 over 4, right? When we reverse the integral, we also have 3 over 4, okay? So this is how we can evaluate double integrals. Numbers below to get my full course on calculus 1 and calculus 2, okay?